Hey guys, welcome to my video. I'm here going to show you how to build the Hampton Bay. And that is the model number there. What I do first is I make sure that I have all the pieces. Then I match it up to make sure I have everything and I make sure that everything is set out. That way it will make it easier for me to find the items. So I have everything ready and I will show you step by step on how to build it. Okay guys, here's step one. So this large piece is the first step because this is the base and that is the wheel that's gonna help you move the actual patio heater. They want you to place that, um, that wheels underneath and they will align with these holes. And all we have to do is put in EE and FF and they're all labeled. So we're gonna do EE and FF right here. And we're just gonna attach those here. So EE goes on the top and FF goes out the bottom, which are the um, holders. Okay, so as you can see, I've already attached um, the screws and the bolts. Um, and it comes up with the wrench that it gives you in the package. And you pretty much make, gotta make sure that you tightened it really good. That way it does not fall off. Uh, when you're actually moving the unit. Now, and once they're tight, um, I will go on to the next step. But this is step one, is attaching the base and the wheels. And then we're gonna flip it over because it's supposed to go in this direction, right? Okay guys, so we are here at step number two. We have already added the uh, wheel turned it around you got to make sure that these are facing upwards we're gonna add these supports now the uh, second step is to add these brackets at the bottom the brackets come in a separate package not in that red packaging but it comes in a bag and they give you four that will be attached to this make sure it is facing out and this here will attach to this here and then there is a hole there where you put it in and then it will take screws and I will show you that next. Okay guys, so I'm at step two. We are finished adding all the brackets to each of the support. I've already added one and two. All you have to do is add, let's see if I can get a good, oh, there it is. That little section right there goes right into that bottom piece right there. So it'll click in and then you will use one of the screws that is GG that will go straight into the middle once this is attached here. And I will show you right now how that looks. that you've added. So one will go here, right there in the middle, so right here. I've already added one as you can see. And we will add the second one. Okay guys, we are still on step two, but there's a few sections in step two. So the first step was, you know, to add, just to recap, the ends on all fours and attach all four supports to the main base, as well as adding the wheels, okay? So the next step is to add this piece up here. Make sure that this piece is aligned with these. It should be right behind the wheels. So this piece here, it's pretty simple. So same as the other one, it has these uh, things that snap into them. So we're gonna snap each and single like that. Here we go. 
so when it's snapped in this it should hang down for the propane tank down here as is okay guys so here we are again so we've already snapped this in now we're gonna use four of the DD that come in the red packaging and these are just gonna go straight into the middle back here as you can see there is Okay, so here we are. I've already added this section. I've already added the screws, as you can see on all four sides. So base is done, wheels done, supports are done. This was just done. And now it's step three. Okay, so here we are again. We just finished installing this and we added these screws. Now the next step is to add the bracket here that holds the propane tank. So you gotta make sure that this pointy section is out and you're just gonna have a screw there and there. And the screws are the screws, two left screws that were left for, from the last one and those are the GG that go into those holes. Okay, so we have added the bracket. That was step three. The bracket is now in place and we are on to step number four and that is adding the support systems that will go up on the top. All right guys, so this is step four and it is to add these support systems here as you can see. So they, it's very easy. These support systems just go right inside of this here. Make sure that the two holes are aligned. So as you can see, there's two holes there. Once we put in the bracket, it has the two holes. And it'll click right in. And that is step four. Now for these right here, we're gonna add a total of eight screws. It's gonna be two, four, six, eight on all sides. And the screw is DD. Now I'm just a mom here showing you guys how to do videos on stuff that I build. Um, you know, so if you hear my little one in the background, you know that I'm just a mom here, you know, doing the stuff that I like to do and just build stuff on my own, figure it out on my own and just show you guys how easy it is. If I can do it, you can too. Okay, so I finished doing the screws on all sides. So the support is all ready to go. Okay, so now that step five, is to add that little piece up there and you're gonna need a ladder because this thing is pretty high up so this mounts onto each corner and there's two screws on each side i did one side already but i need to do all four sides with the same screws the double d um, once i'm done i'll show you all right guys i just finished doing the screws on all the sides as you can see so all of them are in and that is step five this so you can see that this is facing upwards this is facing upwards so you know that each side and then um i'm sure there's going to be something else that we're going to have to add to there so so far that's what we have on to the next step Hey guys, so we are on to step six and we are gonna be needing the AA wing nut, the uh, washer and the stud. And we're gonna be placing this on top. And so I already did this part. That's where the studs are and then the washers. So you're gonna put each stud on each of those holes. And then this will go right there. Sorry guys, I don't have a cameraman, so I don't be doing this one-handed with my phone. So there it is. And so now we're gonna add washers. We're gonna do this to each side, okay? 
gonna add a washer to each side and then we're gonna use this little wing that goes right up top and then you screw it on. Hey guys, so I finished step six. And six is to add this piece finish putting all of those now we're on to step seven step seven is to put in the cylinder that goes in the middle of this and it comes with a silicone at the bottom so it says to put in the top first and then do the bottom so let's do that step number seven and then you just put it in the cylinder now we're on to step eight all right guys we're on to step eight i've already done three of them now we're going to show you how to add them on so these things come with the hook and they just go into those spaces there so we got to do those align them first and then push down and we're also adding these brackets to hold this little fence in. So what we do is we put the bracket in like this, so it holds it this side up, and then we just screw them in on all four sides. And that's it, on to the next step. Hey guys, so we are on to step number nine. Number nine is to add the sides. Now these bottom sides, the way so that you know is these ones that have the little openings they go on these sides here not in the front the front has a knob so these ones go up and over in here this on all three sides you leave the front the front actually has it's all plain here and then it has a little hole where you're gonna add the knob to open it up to put in the propane tank which this right here is the front now I'm gonna attach those we because it needs the screws the double D's on all these three so each side will have six holes so we're gonna put in all of those screws in. Hey guys, so um, I ended up finishing, but it's nighttime now. It is all the sides. And then like I told you in this one, this one doesn't have any screws, but it does have a knob that you attach with the screw and you also add the little chain. And then it just has a magnetic that attaches. So it just attaches like that. I've already added the propane tank. Um, all you do is just um, connect this to the propane tank and that's it. You also have to put in the battery that goes in here. Um, it just unscrews. You unscrew this, you put in the battery and then you put it back and that's it. And this is the finished product. I couldn't turn it on because I unfortunately ran out of propane. But as you can see, I'm already doing a second one. I have um, two more to go. Um, but this is what it looks like, the finished product. They're actually pretty tall. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, you know, it's just a raw video of me showing you how to do um, building certain items. As for this one, this one is the Hampton Bay 
outdoor pyramid patio heater. It's stainless steel and hammered bronze finish. Okay, hope you liked it.